And do you want to get up on the table? Is that what's happening here? Is that better? <laughs> Is that better for you? I'm back from Vegas. It was a really, really quick trip. Hi. Come on. Somebody wants to be in the video again. You get this? She's sensitive. I was talking to myself earlier and she doesn't like when I do that. So she gets really sensitive and has to be like on me because God knows what I was talking about, but it must have been about her and she's probably in trouble. That's what she thinks, which is really kind of funny because that's where my brain always goes to. It's like, I must have done something wrong. Like no matter what the, yeah, anyway. Some therapy to unpack later. Okay, hi. I flew out Friday night. I think we took off at 10.30 at night and I didn't get in until it was, we cut off a half an hour in the air. It was, that was really cool, but it was bumpy as hell. It was so bad. I was not a fan. I don't like flying on a good day, like a smooth flight. I'm already having panic attacks, but yeah, it was not a fan. Thank God it was only an hour, but uh, yeah, full flight. I will tell you this, flying, my size compared to flying my size before night and day night and day i i take up so much less space i was in the middle seat flying to vegas and i was completely comfortable and this is an allegiant flight those seats are tiny and i was completely comfortable i i can't even like i didn't even i wasn't touching either of my seat mates like i wasn't we weren't sharing armrests it was it was it was nice I gotta say I'm not gonna lie pretty pretty big fan of it whereas before well when I would have to get a seatbelt extender and uh, I did not I in fact I'll put a picture up here of I took a picture to send my husband when I got on the plane home because there was just so much seatbelt like left and I just took a picture because I was like okay yeah so I would have had to have gotten a seatbelt extender before and I literally, I mean, people would have been like seeing that they were sharing a seat with me and been like, oh God, because I just, I would have been overflowing in the seat. I, I mean, I was never, I never actually was told that I had to purchase two seats. Like that was never a thing, but I was definitely over capacity on, on seats, especially like an Allegiant flight where it was, their, their, their seats are just small. But anyway. So I got into Vegas around 11.30. Rob picked me up at the airport and we went to Bally's, which is now called Horseshoe. And we checked in. Uh, I had already checked in on online earlier. So we just went to the kiosk and got the keys. And we had a pretty nice room. It wasn't, we've had the executive suite before, which has like a big ass jacuzzi tub in the middle of the floor but um, this one was, was still plenty big for us. There was no tub. Usually when I do races before, like the half marathons, I would make sure that we had some sort of tub in the room to soak in, but I, this was just a 10K and I felt pretty confident that I wouldn't be overly sore after. So it just had a shower, but it was a, it was a nice room. And, oh, oh it was like, we got settled in the room and I was starving because I, my nerves wouldn't let me eat. Like I, I had worked all day and I came home and packed and then just sort of put it around. And I, I, I think I had a piece of toast, but that was all I could really think of that would appeal to me. And then, uh, so when we got there and I relaxed, I was starving and the only place open downstairs in the food court at Horseshoe was well Johnny Rockets was open I found out after but it didn't look like anybody was there so I went to Nathan's Hot Dogs which was the only other place that was open and ended up we got uh bacon cheese dogs and french fries 
and I mowed on that as soon as we got up to the room and then uh, went to bed because we had to we had to go to the expo the next day and that sat in my gut all night that was not a good decision so the next morning we got up super early for having been to bed at three in the morning and we went to the expo we walked down to the expo it was at resort world which is where we saw enchant last time and it was cool they had it i they were they were trying really hard to make it like hip and fun you walked in and there was like all these black lights and you know strobes and everything and it was it was pretty cool but nothing like when they first started these marathons the very first expo i ever went to was just a blast there was like booths it was like like I mean there was vendors and then there were stuff you could buy but there were like these contest booths and you know giveaways and in fact I won a pair of Brooks shoes which is what converted me to Brooks shoes so good advertising but it, they they've kind of pared it down a lot since then I mean it's it's still fun to go and I got this t-shirt um, I'm not one to spend 30 bucks on a t-shirt for something that you get a t-shirt at the end of it anyway but they did this really cool thing on the back and I'll put a picture up here where they put all of the, this is the female t-shirt for the 10K and they put all of the names of the, the female contestants and it made the thing, you'll see it. Uh, and so, yeah, I was a sucker and bought one cause it had my name on it. <laughs> but uh, it was, it was okay. Very overpriced stuff. And, but I did get, I don't think I've ever talked about it here, but I, when I work out, I wear toe socks and I wear a specific brand. I get them on Amazon, but there's always shipping involved. And they had the toe socks there. Um, side story, I wear them because I have my pinky toes on my feet. Well, obviously, you know, not on my head. Uh, they, they sort of go under a little bit and it creates a friction when I run and it always has created a blister so I've always had a just a giant callus or and or blister depending on how much I run how much I walk since I've been using toe socks not a problem so I absolutely love them but I'm constantly losing them so anyway I got three pairs because I didn't have to pay shipping it was great so yeah a lot of overpriced vendors a lot of hard sell vendors like there was the the biggest section of the expo was all of the the people you know it, when their booths like come here come to us we'll give you let us show you our hair stuff let us show you that it was really annoying but we were probably out of there within an hour so it wasn't it wasn't too bad and i did like i said i got the t-shirt and i got the toe sock so it was worth it and the race itself was was pretty good that was on sunday night it was a big like vacant parking lot and they set up a stage and they had like uh people on unicycles and people doing acrobatics on their heads and stuff i took a little video and it was fun it was like a real party atmosphere it was cool and somehow and i'm not sure how because there's no way i would have signed us up for it but we got in the elite runners group which it was the first to load up for the start line, but we just kind of hung back anyway, because we're like, mm, we are not elite and we do not want all of these people having to run past us. So it was cool. The first two miles, Rob and I had agreed that I would walk with him because he wanted to get a picture of us at the Las Vegas sign, which is near where you turn around to head back the strip. So my time was skewed because of that, because I walked the first two miles. But still, I managed to beat the beat the time of my last 10K by a few minutes. I think, um, I'll put it up here because I don't remember, I should have written it down, but I think my time was 128 or something. I, it, it, it'll, I'll put it here. And so if I had, run the first two miles it would it would have been even better so I, I can't give an accurate reading on what my timing was but it was pretty good and better than i thought it was going to be 
What was also funny to me was that once we turned around, so we started up the strip towards the airport, and then we turned around past the airport and came back down the strip heading towards downtown. And what was funny about that was that it was slightly downhill. So it was slightly uphill going towards the airport and slightly downhill going towards downtown. And the way that I do the treadmill is on uh, an eight incline. So that's the way I've trained. And so it was actually hurting me more to go downhill. I was going super faster, but I wasn't used to the sort of forward momentum. Plus the wind was to our backs. So I was, my hips and my inner thighs were hurting from the weird positioning of, of trying to keep myself upright and not trying to hunch over because that's my, what my instinct was to hunch over. But I'm glad I didn't do the half marathon. I had thought about it the last couple of months thinking maybe I should switch it. But no, I'm really glad that I didn't. And uh, yeah, I, I was I was done when when it was over and possibly going to do the half marathon next year, but hi, but, um, if I do, I will put in a lot more training, a lot more training time for sure. Cause yeah, I was done after the six miles and I walked the first two, but it was, it was cold. It was really cold, but it was good. It was a good party and so much free stuff at the finish line. The first thing they gave us was a bag of lace potato chips, which I found kind of hilarious. But then you got to like the bananas and the, the fruit snacks and the waters and stuff. And of course it's Vegas, so there was like wine and beer, but it was good. It was good. We we had we had a good time. Fast trip though. I, I don't like those fast trips. But that was the only formal exercise that I actually got that weekend, other than walking to the expo and back. And then I bet I didn't count that as formal exercise. I never went to the gym and we ate. I didn't count my calories. I just ate whatever. And there was a lot of fried stuff, more fast food than we would normally do, but it was just convenient to go down to Johnny Rockets and get a burger or a fried chicken sandwich and French fries and tater tots and stuff. So I did definitely did not watch what I was eating this weekend, but that brings me to the weigh in because yesterday was Saturday and that's my weigh in day. So you want to get down? So yesterday was Saturday and that's my weigh-in day. So I didn't weigh in obviously last Saturday because I was in Vegas and there was a bacon cheese dog sitting in my belly like a brick. But the week before last, the week before Vegas, I weighed in at 168.4. Yesterday I weighed in at 166.8. So I lost 1.6 pounds. Not bad. That is a two week loss. Um, but also I had three days of eating whatever I wanted and the choices were pretty poor, to be honest. But I also did run six miles, one of the days. And, and to be honest, the week before I left, probably starting Tuesday, I, I cut my calories back to maybe 1500. So there was a, a couple hundred, yeah, like a 200 a day more deficit than normal, but still I'm very pleased, very pleased because I was pretty sure that I was going to at least maintain, if not gain a pound, but so I'm glad about it. 166.8, y'all. I'm almost at 150. I've never been that small. I don't even know what, I don't even know. I don't even, I mean, wow. So something else that happened yesterday. So yesterday we went to, there, there's a jazz festival that happens here every year. And my father-in-law is, uh, donates money to it. So he gets, you know, free tickets and for a free luncheon and whatnot. And we go every year. And it's a fun time. It's, it's just, it's cool music and you just, everybody's into it. We are always mostly the youngest people there, but it's, it's fun. And so I was sitting there listening to one of the bands 
and they're just regular seats like you know like this seat and I can't do it now because I have a table in front of me and guitar equipment in back of me because apparently we have no other room in this house because it's all over my living room again therapy to unpack later but I put I was sitting there and I was just like I had pulled a muscle <laughs> doing my exercises yesterday morning so I was trying to get comfortable and I was able to pull my knee up and sit my foot on the chair and hug my knee. I've never been able to do that. That was like, I mean, it sounds so stupid, but I was so happy. I was like, and it was comfortable. Like, I know that sounds really stupid, but when you've been heavy your whole life and all of a sudden you can do things you've never been able to do, it's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. So anyway. So that was a lot of talking, so I'm gonna wrap it up. If you have enjoyed any part of this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.